Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use Redox OS. So Redox is basically a Unix-like operating system that is completely made to Rust. So basically the developers thought it was a great idea to go and make an operating system that would be completely made to Rust as a hobby. And personally I think it is one of the greatest things I have ever heard. And this is why I want to show you guys how to basically use Redox OS. Um, I used it like two days ago for a very first time. I was on my Square of a system and I found out how easy it was to use it. So it's very simple to use. Um, but for one disadvantage about the operating system is that it's limited to what you can do with it. So from my understanding is that it's going to be very limited on the functions that we can do, like the features it has and you can't really do much of it as much as you could do on an operating system like Linux Mint or um, FreeBSD or anything like that but this operating system just came out in 2015 and it only has like small amount of developers working on it so I would say it's quite impressive that the project is actually pretty cool as, as it's right now so in this video I'm just going to show you guys how to use Redox OS um, because I just want to show you guys how awesome the operating system is and how much you guys should try out right now. Okay, so I already have created a preferred machine for it. All you guys here do is go to Redox website and download it from there. It is very simple. Just click on to start. With whom I will just click on to start and now I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So what I can do right now here is I have to select my um, my rest my screen resolution. So I normally just go for like 800 times by 600. And you guys may notice these errors. Don't worry about them. They're nothing critical. It is like still in development, so I will not worry too much about it. As long as you're not running the serial hardware, then you should be fine. And now as you guys can see, I was able to log in. So it says username, user, you can just log in by clicking on to log in. If you guys don't like it and want to guys add in a password, just open up the terminal and just type down PASSWD and this should allow you to add in a password. And now if our user um, has a password. Okay, I'm going to close out of the terminal. Um, now I'm going to start showing you guys some applications. Um, that you guys would be able to use starting off with the calculator so let me go to Redox and I'm going to open up the calculator software and as you guys can see it is a very simple calculator we can do 7 times by 9 and we can do equals to 63 click on to C and that should clear everything we can do 3 plus 3 and that should equals to 6 and blah 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 so just use these buttons to click onto it like we would do within any other calculator it is um, quite limited because it cannot go for any like scientific calculator but I think it's pretty cool as it is right now now I want to show you guys how to use the NetSurf so NetSurf is a very simple web browser um, that allows you to surf the web within Redox OS if you click onto it then you guys will see how simple it is so Redox is a Unix like operating system with it in Rust aiming to bring the innovations of Rust to a modern microkernel and full set of applications and you guys will be able to use the scroll bar to navigate around you guys can visit www.google as well for 2102 um, so for example if I put down google.com then it will take me to google um, as you guys can see it doesn't look the greatest but it is a um, simple web browser which I truly like and I, I find it very cute as well okay now I'm going to just exit from this and now what I can now do is I'm going to show you guys how to use a file manager just open it and now you guys will be able to navigate by clicking onto these icons so for example you can click onto dot uh, local you can click onto share and it should show up some files Within the operating system, and we can also add in our own folders as well if you we truly wanted to. And you can drag in some files and you can create new files inside of it as well. So, to create a new folder, just click onto the plus over here, and now we can create a new file or folder. So, for example, if I call this file and I call it a folder, then as you guys can see, we have a new folder called file. Click onto file, and now we can click back onto that plus, and now we can create a new file called app file. And now once you try to open up the app, I don't know if you can do it that way, 
um, but as you guys can see we are able to create new folders and we can also create new uh, um, new files as well close out of it and now I'm going to show you guys how to use the editor so just open it and now we can type down some random stuff like this on a keyboard like we do with any, any other um, text editor very simple just use a keyboard and I'll go to file and I'll click on to save and that should basically save it go to back to file save as and we can see which way I want to save it to so for example if I call it save um, click on to save as uh, I think it's already saved okay I see so you can click on to save and that should basically save it if you guys truly wanted to we can also open up another file file so for example click on to open file well guys can click on to save and it should just open up save so for example if I click on to close and I, if I come back to it um, that's not it if I come back to the um, editor now if I click on to open now if you click on to save and now it should be able to open up the save um, text editor isn't this lovely and obviously for more um, text documents I will make for more um, documents it will display that you guys can reopen now close all of it and I'm going to show you guys another application that is called calendar so over here we can just view for days and months by clicking over here we can view for months and you can also view for days of the months it is very simple though it does shows up is a is a date basically so for example it shows up that today is Tuesday the 8th of November and you guys can't really interact with it that much you can add in some calendar dates such as to tell it people that it's a birthday or whatever but it's pretty nice um, interface and personally I just love it because how simple it is and all it does is shows up the date that is today and now if you guys really wanted to we can now click on the viewer and all this does is um, open up an image that the guys can view from your um, file manager or um, basically any image that will open within the operating system as you guys can see so it's just used to um, show, show an image within the operating system close out of it and now it's also a character map which is basically just shows up some random letters and some numbers just to show what you can do um, with letters and with some symbols like question mark and stuff like that so it shows up like a character ma map it shows up some letters some symbols like question mark and a question mark and some numbers so I don't really see a point of that but I guess that's like to show up a default font or something so yeah that's character map and it can also log out if you truly wanted to and if we try to put down the password then that should allow it in because you obviously change your password um, when we have gotten started go back to the terminal now do power off and I do believe that should power off the system or do I do shut down no right sudo shut down and the password does that shut me down? Okay, it does seem like my desktop is frozen now, so I'm just going to reset it. Um, so yeah, guys, as you guys can see, Redox is truly a great operating system. It is very basic, um, but obviously the more development it gets, the more advanced it will get. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, please put a like and please subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.